It's been a while, man. I'll be making a short video soon to discuss why that is. But for today, I hope you enjoy watching this solo journey as much as I enjoyed experiencing it. I've been loving playing Rust console lately, and this is largely because of the amazing bases that I've had the opportunity to build. Today's video is no exception, as I built one of my absolute favourite solo base designs from a pretty awesome YouTuber called Dust. There's a link to the base build and his channel in the description. Also, unfortunately, my recording for this video for some reason turned out kind of choppy. For the most part, I've been able to edit it out, but I hope you guys enjoy the video anyway, and I just want to say thank you guys for being here and watching my content. But enough chat, let's get into the video. What's going on, everybody? It's been, it's been a little while. It's been a little while. But today, we are back on the solo grind. I'm playing on a weekly server that's just wiped today. And I have like, almost every blueprint. So this is gonna be good fun today. So this map is kinda interesting. I feel like this side of the map's gonna be really busy with oil rigs. And I'm looking like this, this side in the snow is kind of intriguing to me. So let's go check that out. I've got a really cool base that I want to try and build today. It's by a YouTuber called Dust. So I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check that out too. Oh damn, that's huge. <laughs> That's actually huge. Oh, I don't want to die now. Let's get to Bandit. Yoink. Alright, now we can suss out a spot to build in peace. I noticed an ice lake directly to the west of Bandit Camp, and I expected it to be occupied since it was about 5 hours into white before I had joined the server. Imagine if this part wasn't taken. Uh, surely you can't build here. No way, dude. What? That's the best part of the map, dude. Alright, we're building there. We are building there. Damn, that's not too bad actually. Like, I don't need that much stone for this space. It's kind of like a compact, uh, pretty, pretty good base. Like, I'll need stone for the high external walls, but for the most part, it's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap to build. I wonder if I can farm that bear. That would be huge. Get me a few furnaces down. Can I cheat the system here? system that's huge so good man yeah we can make a bear rug we can make some clothes furnaces dude 
getting a bear early wipe is so huge. Do need some wood though. Hopefully I didn't build too close to this. It's kind of in a shit spot, this little island here. Yes. Okay, I'm getting a tiny bit of wood just for a box and a furnace. man get the lantern down surely you fit there yes I'm starting to question whether where I've built is a good idea like for a solo it's probably not the best idea I'm thinking like over here in C7 I know there's going to be a big base here, but I'm going to get a lot, a lot less attention down here than I am <laughs> right here. So I think we are, I think we're going to move, to be honest, before I start to upgrade that base too much. I'll probably get scrap faster here, to be honest, with the road, harbour, sewer. So yeah, that's the plan. I really just want some like uninterrupted farming time so I can get this base down ASAP, which I'm not going to get <laughs> building directly next to Bandit. Give me something good. Hey, that's pretty good. I guess we just take everything. Hope for the best. Fuck me, man. That's not supposed to be stone. So we need resources really. These barrels are gonna be here like the whole time. So I think we'll prioritize that. We'll try and get some, get our base upgraded. So we're not an easy raid. Those guys might leave me alone <laughs> if they know that it's like a expensive raid. 
I say, I guess that's the plan. I think he's being all sneaky. Red dog. I hate that guy, man. I've seen him on a previous wipe, and I freaking really do not like that dude. I mean, it wasn't a, it wasn't a pretty fight, but we got the job done. Let's uh, just wait for daytime and then we'll keep up the grind, go do some more farming and gonna have to do some recycling, get our tier one down. But yeah, so far, not a bad, not a bad little beginning. When morning came, I got a big farm run in so that I could start expanding the base. So good. Holy, that is a big farm. Oh, hello. You must die. How'd that not hit? Ah, oh, he's dead. He's in the water. Yep. Sorry, buddy. Had to be done. Nice one. Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. You're being killed by Dr. Vasilicic. Alright, couple of trees. And we'll get this pixel... Pixel gap bunker down. I at least tried, man. I tried. You can finish me, bro. I'm just trying to get close to Alpo. On this next room, I'd be introduced to an interesting character. I didn't bring my arrows. 
Drauf gefallen! Wow, what's your fucking mouth, bro? You're so fucking gay. I'm just trying to build a base, man. I'm just trying to chop you. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, look, that's what you get for being fucking toxic, dude. <laughs> He's so mad. Oh, uh, dude. That's like proper rage. You can tell straight away when I started chasing him that he was stressed that he had a decent amount of loot. And like, look, if he if he was a reasonable bloke and he was just like, oh man, try and get started. You know, leave me alone, please. I probably would have left him. Oh man, that's classic. Some people are just gonna chill, dude. All right, what's the time? I think it's about time to have a break. Take a little doggo for a walk. I whacked down another sheet metal door at the front of my little hex starter base and logged off for a while. When I came back, it'd be time to start expanding the base, if I didn't get distracted, of course. This dude had put down a small base right next to me, and he was already door camping, so I knew I had to get rid of him. Bro, wait till my four man gets on. You're gonna get raided when they come around. Oh, get ready, so The funny part is that he probably is part of a four man. <laughs> uh, but empty threats until uh, until he proves otherwise. But I think it's probably time to expand the base. I headed out for another farm run and pretty quickly was distracted again. Let's go to depot. Alright, let's get back to base. I've got too much on me. I gotta get some turrets up ASAP. I got two uh two cameras. Just need a couple laptops. Should try and run sewer at some point or train. But I gotta honeycomb this base first. I should have enough now, I think. Let's go, dude.
you gotta put a triangle here. We just make that wood. And then this triangle here has to face a certain orientation. That is it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so if we put this here and upgrade that to like stone, then when I build a roof here. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Nice. So now we can put a little triangle here. That would too. And we can upgrade this. Once I got the roof bunker down, I sealed in the second level of the base and went out for another roam. I was going to need quite a bit of stone and metal to complete this solo compound, so I ended up putting down a small farm base deep in the snow where I could farm peacefully. Well, I guess we find a boat. Oh, that's a rib. Hell yeah, let's grab that. And then maybe do... We'll probably do one more farm run. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit. No, my farm base. <laughs> no. Fuck's oh, sake, man. Oh, that's a good amount of farm, too. Fuck. Quick, quick, quick. Fast, gonna be fast. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, oh, there's a rib out there. Oh, wait a minute. It's a whole bloody foreman that have just done oil.
Yeah, brother. So that's all good for like how long? 15 hours. I just gotta connect these two with some more metal. And that's like one external TC done. I've only got two of those to do. And then the other ones are like just basic external TCs. Thank gold. <laughs> it's like door cam central. Come on now, I'm just trying to fucking get a wipe down. Fuck off, Khan. People are so angry, dude. <laughs>After this friendly encounter with one of the locals, I finished putting down my second gatehouse and connected them to the external tool cupboards. Once I got a compound down, I'd be able to run some large furnaces to smelt the metal I needed for the remainder of the base.'ing this compound down, my pesky neighbor had put down another small base close to mine, so I decided to craft up some satchels and take them over. And I think I have everything. Lemon satchels. We're going via the roof though, so I can run out of sus. No long range weapon. <laughs> satchels bro no the satchels <laughs> oh well we make eight more satchels god damn it saturating is the fucking <laughs> it's the fucking worst i hate it so much like when you online saturate nothing ever goes right make a another large furnace cook up this sulfur and we'll try and uh, raid them again <laughs> Try this base again. 
can go through the doors this time. Statues can suck my eye. Holy, the server's already popping. Well, let's see if my base survived the night. Hell yeah. Hey, nice, nice. Ah, oh, man, it's always so nice waking up to an unrated base. Can I have a base tour, please? Look very good as solo. Can I have a base tour? The, the base looks clean and, and you've done it all as a solo. <laughs> you know, I have a fucking base tour, but I appreciate it. So the plan for today, I want to I want to try and finish the base, which we're not too far from doing. This dude might have some stone for me. Upgrade everything. I feel kind of bad, but I needed the stone. This is looking pretty sick. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This is sick, man. It's actually such a cool base. And the finishing touch will be just putting up some, like, some sort of uh, protection up here, like triangle roof or something. As I mentioned before, sadly after this point, my recording got a bit too choppy to edit. 
But don't worry, you guys didn't miss out on too much. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm looking forward to sharing my next Rust adventure with you sometime in the near future. Take it easy guys, I'll see you soon.